Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the word. My question for you today is this. Where is your citizenship? Okay. This is taken today from Philippians 3 verses 20 through 21. Now the question is, where is your citizenship? I'm not concerned necessarily if you have citizenship in the Bahamas or in the United States or um, wherever. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. Obviously I'm and I got my American hat on, so I'm proud to be an American citizen, okay? Uh, but Paul is not writing about like, oh, you got to be a citizen of this country. Not at all. Let's read here today. This is Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. It says this, but our citizenship is in heaven. Ding, ding, there you go. Citizenship in heaven. And we are eagerly awaiting a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power of that enables him to bring everything under his control will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. Okay? The bottom line is this. If you're a Christian, you're serving the Lord, your citizenship is not here. Okay? It's not uh, in Florida. You're not a Floridian, uh, a citizen of Florida or the United States um, or whatever. Your citizenship is in heaven. Okay? There's a song um, that goes, it, it's, an, it's an older uh, song, that this world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. And uh, it, I could sing the whole thing, but if you wanted, but no, I, I'm just going to tell you. The title is, this world is not my own, I'm just a passing through, okay? So, if I travel from one country uh, to the other, uh, you know, I travel through Mexico um, to get, you know, let's say I'm in Guatemala and I'm dr driving a truck up here to the United States. I'm going through Mexico. I'm not establishing roots. I'm not buying land there and building a house and all that stuff there because my citizenship is not in Mexico. Okay. I'm just passing through. Okay. I'm not building all kinds of stuff and setting up a home there. And this is my permanent base because I just am passing through and my home is in Florida. And in the same way, people get so focused on the things of this earth, uh, not realizing that our citizenship is not on this earth, okay? Um, so you might get all worked up about politics, like, oh, you know, uh, you might be Republican or Democrat and, and, uh, and think, oh, it's the end of the world because this is happening and, and so forth. But you have to realize, too, that my citizenship is not here. My citizenship is in heaven so you'll find that people that really really focus on that stuff is like they live and die by the politics and so forth are they focused on on heaven not really okay their uh, our focus should be on heaven and bringing other people into the kingdom here in the united states we're having a, a challenge now of like do we want more citizens in and so if i go to guatemala and i i have some friends there do I want them to come and, you know, fill up the United States? And so that's a challenge. But with the kingdom of God, it's, it's different. I want as many people to come with me into that kingdom as possible. So I go to Guatemala and I'm trying to reach people for the Lord and share the gospel with them and say, hey, I want you to come with me to this great place, um, uh, the kingdom of God in heaven. And so I'm inviting people to come with me uh, to that kingdom. Okay. But ultimately, remember this. My life here on earth is just, it's just a stepping stone. I'm, I'm just stepping on through. My, my, king, my, my home is not here. My ultimate home is not here. It's a, I'm part of the kingdom of heaven. And so my citizenship is in heaven. My question today as I close is this. Where is your citizenship? Hey, thanks for watching. I'm a regular dude walking in the word. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we now start chapter 4 of Philippians. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.